in any organization, you're going to have risk. You have risk when you walk across the street. There's risk when you drive a car. There's risk when you go into business. The real challenge is how you deal with that risk. And there's things you can do like risk avoidance. In an organization, there may be things you're doing where you just make a decision that that's just too risky. We're not going to do that anymore. You've seen this a lot in universities and colleges that generally have a very open and broad access to the internet. And the problem is that people are taking advantage of that and downloading copyrighted materials and the university is being served with legal papers. They may decide, you know what, having that open access to the internet is good, but we need to start avoiding that particular risk. And let's turn off the ability to do BitTorrent or other types of peer-to-peer -peer through our internet connection. You have to make that business decision on whether that's something that you can avoid or whether from a business perspective, you can continue with that risk. Another way to deal with risk is transfer the risk to someone else. If you're concerned about a risk of a hurricane, perhaps we should get insurance so that should a hurricane hit, we would at least be covered for part of that cost. And buying insurance is a very, very common way to transfer the risk that you have to someone else. Of course, you have to make sure that's risk that can be transferred. Not everybody's going to want to give you insurance for a hurricane, or if they do allow you to have insurance, it might be very, very costly. Again, a business decision that you have to make. Sometimes risk is okay. You've balanced out what is good and bad about that risk, and you've just decided, you know what, we're fine with that. We're not going to limit people's access to the internet, or we're not going to worry about buying that costly insurance for the hurricane. We're just going to take that on ourselves. And as long as you're aware of that, you can make a business decision associated with that. Accepting the risk is an absolutely proper thing to consider. There are also things you can do to help mitigate the risk. Maybe you can allow certain things to go through your network. You can allow people access to the internet, but maybe you should be scanning things on the inbound to make sure there's no viruses inside of that, that nobody's trying to take advantage of one of our servers, take advantage of a vulnerability. So maybe we'll buy some firewalls, some intrusion prevention systems to be able to mitigate that risk. So we're spending money, we're going through business processes because we want to be able to access the internet, but we're going to put some things in place so that if bad stuff comes through that link, we're going to stop it right there and help mitigate, decrease the risk level that we have associated with that activity. And ultimately, there may be a way to deter the bad guys from doing things that are risky in your organization, like a big dog. A big dog is a very, very good deterrent at home for security. Maybe it doesn't work so well in an organization. Maybe instead you have a lot of fences, you have technical security, you have firewalls and intrusion prevention. Maybe you have warning signs up on the outside that says, if you're logging into this server, know that we're watching what you're doing. Sometimes just having a little bit of deterrence can go a really long way.